I'm the Agnihotra Lady, and this is the Cosmic Clinic. We are broadcasting live at Shantyville Institute in historic Tuskegee, Alabama. And this evening's talk is the truth of the pebble and the mountain. The truth of the pebble and the mountain. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope everyone is keeping cool. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the Burrito Mantra. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. Let me turn my cell phone off. Um, so it's not ringing during, <clears throat> during the talk. So let me go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so thanks for joining me, everyone. And I'm happy to be speaking with you this evening. Um, we're going to be sharing some very important information with you. And I hope you would take this information seriously and take it to heart and use it to be able to plan accordingly for the next few months. So in the next few months, there will be some major events happening on the planet um, and a major shift going on. And it's really important to understand that the mundane, trivial problems that we think we have are not that important, that we have to work on ourselves. And so when we talk about, uh, you know, a little tiny speck, a pebble and a mountain, um, a lot of times we think of these very big problems of things that we cannot solve. But when we gather all these pebbles um, of the worries that we have, our ways of thinking, all the problems that we think that we cannot solve, at some point when we get stronger, the pebbles, they gather and gather and they form into a mountain. We're strong, we're tall, and we can be um, of service to our families because we've um, overcome these difficulties. And it's very important now that we don't get caught up in the, these trivial things that are happening with um, our jobs or our children, um, our feelings of insecurity, of not being worthy, um, not loving ourselves, because a lot of things that are happening now um, going into the next few months is imperative that we are at the highest vibration possible. The planet is in a crisis and it's up to us as the human beings that live upon the planet and take care of the planet that we understand that when our vibration is at the highest level, then we can help align the planet back to the way it is. So, I want to talk about these things that will create our minds and train our minds to be strong like mountains. Because when we get stuck in past mistakes and when we get stuck in um, bad things that we have done and we do not forgive ourselves or have self love, then we're stuck dealing with these little pebbles. And it's imperative now that we understand it is a time for all of us to be mountains from 
all the neighborhoods from every person from street corner to street corner. It is important that we understand that we have to stand as mountains for all the things that will be happening that happening, but understand that the vibration of love the vibration of love, it feeds the planet. So all the problems that we have, our fears, um, the thinkings, the, the six crocodiles that crowd our minds, the lust, the greed, the envy, the attachment, the anger, the pride, these are the things that clamp down on our mind, our minds. And so we have to train our minds to be full of love that is the highest vibration and it feeds the planet and right now the planet is at a turning point so we're here to say that all of the humans on the planet by differences that we are worthy of the grace from the creator, God. We are worthy of being happy and peaceful. We are worthy of a healthy planet with healthy food, water, and air. So we are here to say that when you perform Agnihotra in the Copper Pyramid, this is a way to train your mind to be filled with self-love, to help get your mind into a state of peace and tranquility. So with the agriculture process, we're talking about cleaning up the pollution. It cleans up the pathogenic bacteria. It restores the soil, the nutrients to the soil. Okay, it cleanses the water, it regulates our weather. Okay, it'll help deal with the extreme weather and the heat, especially that we're having right now. So, while we're sitting in front of the copper pyramid and performing Agnihotra, this is how we're training our minds to be filled with love at all times. So, we are here to say for anyone that is dealing with things that have they have done in the past. The time is to discard all of that and be in the present moment. It's in the present moment that you will be restored to your divine abilities when you are filled with universal love. This is the way to heal yourself and heal the planet. And all these things are done with our obvious actions, but there's a lot of subtle things that are going on with the thinking too, with the mind. And the planet Earth mirrors all of the thoughts and the actions of the humans that inhabit the planet. So understand that that connection is so deep that we have to restore that balance between the human thoughts and the human actions and the way the earth rotates and how the earth grows its food, how the winds blow upon the planet. All that is connected to our minds and our thinking and our actions. So the time to let go of all the past mistakes is now. So, if you are a parent that is abusing your child, you can stop doing that in the present moment. Fill yourself with love. Do the right thing with your children and be a good parent right now. If you're in the neighborhood and you are a criminal and you are shooting people, you're stealing things or you're selling drugs 
you don't have to push the drugs anymore. You can push love. We know that you have tears that have not fallen because you are scared to break away from the chains of bad behavior. So if you are a drug dealer, if you are a thief, discard all of that old past behavior. And right now in the present moment, you can become the pusher of love, the arbiter of change in your neighborhood. And it's okay for you to finally now cry those tears to liberate yourself and liberate your neighborhoods, okay? So these neighborhoods can be restored. The time of truth is coming now. There's been many things that have been covering up the truth. And in the next few months, all of the truth will come out. There will be no more lying. And when the truth comes out, finally now, those that are poor, disenfranchised, people of color, children, senior citizens, all of us will be liberated because now we will learn the truth. So before this time happens, we say to you, to go to the pyramid, do the Agnihotra fire to train your minds, to up your vibration to the highest level possible. So that way we can restore the planet. Let us repeat that all of the actions, our fears, okay, our transgressions, those vibrations, they directly affect the planet. So there's a cat down here messing with me. <laughs> um, so it's important that you understand that in the next few months, we, we have to make sure that the vibration is high for the largest amount of people on the planet so we can get the planet back in alignment. The planet is at a crucial point. And in a few months, so much stuff is gonna hit the fan that people will be very fearful. People will want to commit suicide. People will be in despair. But we need those of you to that have access to getting an agriculture pyramid to get the pyramid and do the fire for your families, with your families, for your neighborhoods, communities, for your brothers and sisters. Because as we know, we are the keepers of our brothers and sisters. And it is imperative that we get everybody on the same high level of vibration. It is imperative. So we say to you to go to the fire to do Agnihotra. So it does not matter what you have done in the past. In the present moment, you can liberate yourselves with the vibration of love. So, and all the cats are coming up here now. Go away cats, go away. So, We just want to share this message with you. It's really important that we prepare ourselves for the next few months. It's very important. Again, if you're in chaos in your mind and you're beating yourself up, like I said to you, no matter what you've done, you are worthy. You're worthy of liberation. You're worthy to be liberated. So we share this information with you in hopes that everyone will go to the fire during this turbulent time. It will be very challenging, but remember that it takes time for the mountain to be formed, that the pebbles gather together and there's a gathering until it slowly builds up to be a mountain that stands firm 
okay? And that you, each of us are mountains when this transformation takes place because it takes time to form into a mountain. Then other people can see this and take note knowing that they too can be the mountain. So in your family, in your community, this is how you can liberate everyone. So there will be no more downtrodden people, poor people of color, senior citizens, children, because the liberation will be taking place very soon. And understand that you will not hear the beast roar. The beast will not devour because you will be liberated by universal love, the practice of universal love. And the agnihotra flame petrified, is a way to bring about this liberation as we go into the challenging time the next months. Thank you, everyone. And we were very privileged to share this message with you this evening. And as always, we love you very much. Until the next time.